20, verse 4. All right, what we got? Go ahead. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything. Okay, stop right there. Uh, I gotta grab that word. Please, somebody highlight or underline that word likeness. It's so important. All right, keep going. Likeness of anything that is in heaven above or in the earth beneath that is in the water under. under oh, the earth. that's good stuff. Leviticus yeah, twenty-six, yeah. verse one. Um, her. <clears throat> You shall make you no idols nor graven image, neither rear you up uh, a standing image, mm -hmm. neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land, or bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. Come on. All right, and Sean, count me. 13, 14. 13, 14, all the way down to 18. Okay, and you save with them that dwell on the earth. By the means of those miracles which have power to do on the side of beasts, saying to them that dwell on earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by the sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto, him, unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of, of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is six hundred three score and six. All right, so likeness. When I did the study on likeness, I don't, everybody know what an image is, and I'm not really going to harp on that. Um, in our Torah apologetics, we're going to do that whole image thing all over again. It's likeness that we have to look at. It's likeness. Someone say likeness. Likeness. All right, likeness. It's a root word. Uh, the word on it is tumma. Tumua. Tumuna. Excuse me. Timua. Tim. Una, tenua. And it sounds like um, terua. It sounds like uh, teshuva, uh -huh, which means uh, repentance, and terua is the blowing, all right? But timuna, there we go, I'll pronounce it right, is something fortune or a shape, an embodiment, a figure, a manifestation, a likeness, or an image, all right? Now, that root word, on that word, is the word mean. All right, and that word means a species or a kind. I'm going somewhere. Everybody still with me? Mm -hmm. Our next word to that group is mine. Anybody ever heard that word? Mine mitsunat. No. Diverse kinds of food. Ruta oh, yeah. Yahweh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, for yeah. mine mitsunat, right? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Diverse kinds of food. And so mine means diverse kinds. All right, diverse kind, nothing the same. Now, when you look at mine and look at its root. It comes to the root word meaning musical chord. <laughs> and I got those numbers for you, brother. That's, that's a long trail. <laughs> musical chord. It is a long trail. I, 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 I had to do a, a several sources on it. All right. Now, there's another word for likeness, and it's dim off, okay? And it's resemblance or a model or shape, because we were created in the likeness of Yahweh, Elohim, right? right? Remember Ben built built according to his image? Right. The root word for likeness is Dhamma, which means oh you'll love this. It means think mean. And I'm not even gonna try to spell this one. But simul to something. <laughs> what? <laughs> simul to, like similarity or what you similar to. Similitude. Similitude. Thank you, brother. I'll, I'll spell it right now, not that I'll pronounce it. Sim no, I still won't spell it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you, I always do. All right, go ahead. Be ready. Simul to. Simul That's pretty close. Outstanding. All right. Sure. So, yeah. anyways. <laughs> So it's what you think in your heart, what you mean in your heart, and what you're similar to. 
Likeness. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right, all right. What are you talking about? Yeah, I know that. Yeah. yeah, okay, what are you talking about here? All right, so if the image or likeness that you have for your problems is in culture, it will literally destroy you. How do I know that that image is culture? Well, first ask yourself, what's the, what's the music that's in my heart? When I wake up in the morning, what song is in my heart? Isn't it amazing that likeness, idolatry, imagery is connected with the music you listen to? Yeah, wow. it's true. It, you think Hasatan knows what he's doing? Um, yeah. Yes, he does. Yes. When I wake up in the morning, is it booty shaking music that's ringing through my head? No. What is the song that's in my heart? That's why the song is always said, I will rejoice, I will rejoice, that's praise it. Yahweh. Yes. The song that's in my heart, because yes. yes. his likeness, his image was kosher. Come on now. Oh, he has no good. idols there. That's good. All right, I'm going to go a little bit further. Come on. Okay. What you think and what you mean. All right, likeness. And so idolatry can even connect to your thought life, your thought pattern. That's right. And you may say, I love Yahweh. I love the Lord with all my heart. But what you think and what you mean in your actions and how you are simulated into this world shows a different. Come on now. That's deep. And that goes even deeper. You want me to go even deeper? I go even deeper. Because Hebrews 8.8, 8, Hebrews 8.8, 8, Jeremiah 31, 31 says, I give you this new Torah. And it's a Torah that's going to be on your heart. And on your mind. Yes. And he says that you have to have a circumcised heart. Yes. Uh-oh. Not a heart of stone, mm -hmm. idols, yes. uh -oh. but a heart of flesh. Go ahead, Rabbi. Right? You're putting it down, boy. You're putting it down. Look, look, I can go even further. You want to go even further. I will go even further for you. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> All right. What is the criteria for us to participate in the Passover or the Pesach, the eating of the redemptive lamb, Yeshua HaMashiach? What is the criteria? Circumcised heart. You have to be circumcised in order to eat of the Passover. Now the circumcision, Paul, Galatians chapter 4, Galatians chapter 5. Now the circumcision is not of the flesh, but the circumcision is of the heart. So we have to have a circumcised heart to even participate in the Passover. Wow. Now let me go even further. Come on now, put it down. <laughs> if the Passover, the Pesach, is a simile or a foreshadow of the Messiah, Yeshua, and the kingdom to come, what will be the criteria for us to get into heaven? Same thing. Circumcised heart. A circumcised heart. David, give me a clean heart. Oh my God. Now let me go even further. Okay. <laughs> yes, there is more. <laughs> Why is it that in Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, he says, Many shall come to me in that day and say, Lord, Lord, you're not doing work, you're wonderful and miracles in your name. And he says, Yes, I know. But depart from me. Those who work in iniquity. Oh, 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 lawlessness. Or idolatry in your heart. So you have an uncircumcised heart. Now let me go even further. This is, this, I'm a, <laughs> hang on. Let me go even further. So you telling me, even if I came up here and did this confession and said, you know, I, I'm going to do this confession and, uh, you know, Lord, come into my heart and, you know, I believe that, you know, Christ is dying on the blah, blah, blah. And you do that whole rap, the whole redemptive prayer. Amen, everybody. Amen. Amen. I'm pro the redemptive That's prayer. Right. I do that. That's right? But <laughs> when the day comes, because he said in that day, in that day, when the day comes and you stand before the maker. And he says, I need to know what's on your thought and what's in your heart. Oh, man, help me out. I need to know what you're thinking and what's in your heart. Right. Rabbi, he said he already knows it. He already knows it. 
And so this is going to be the criteria for you to be even accepted into those gates. And so you can say, I love the Lord all you want. And you can say, I'll follow the Torah. And you can have the biggest religious spirit in the world. And that's right. But if your likeness Come on now. isn't like the image of Elohim, Come on now. Work it, work it. that means your thought life, your source, I mean, what you is really in your heart. Right. I mean, I mean, in the pit of your gut. Right. I'm ready to die for this thing. Right. 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 Completely sold out. Right. And it goes all the way back, let me rewind all the way back to the first thing I made. I said, what if I say you have to give up this world and live in a compound Come where on, there is man. no more worldly no things? More images. Come on. No more images. Are you ready to give that up? And a lot of people are like, I don't know about that. That sounds like I'm missing out on a lot. But let me ask you, what do you think is going to be in heaven? Come on, not no internet. Internet? No. TV? No. Stars? No. What? Cars? Images? No. 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 So our image of paradise is messed up. Yes, it is. But this is how faithful, <laughs> this is how faithful the Hasatan is. Let me show you how faithful the Hasatan is. Because uh -uh. I think somebody just read that somebody's going to come along and give you an image that you are willing to worship. That's right. See, if your image is wrong, you're going to miss the mark. Because he said he did miracles, he did signs, he did wonders, and he looked just like in the good image that you had in your mind. Because you were looking for one thing, and he always come in a whole other way. He may look like an Amish dude. And you're like, oh, I know that ain't the Messiah. He may look like a Jamaican. And you'd be like, oh, no, I know that ain't the Messiah. There ain't no way Jesus got dreads. No, no way. No way. It's too dirty. Right. It's too dirty. If the image is not kosher, right. and you go know the image is kosher or not, according to what? Somebody say the word Torah? Yeah. Because the second he says, I want everyone to understand that homosexuality is okay. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You gotta say that image is it the image that lines up. That's right. And the second they say it's okay to eat certain things, you can say, hold up, that image is the right image. That's right. But if you don't know the image, you'll be destroyed. And so that land, that purpose, potential, and providence, if you're looking for the wrong likeness, it will eat you up. Yes, sir. That was hot. It was very simple. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, 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 I,